Hello everyone. I'm doing chapter nine and I'm Mrs. Wright and the chapter is called Mouse Overboard and it's on page 47. It was 11 o'clock at night and I was standing watch at the helm. Everything was all right, Geronimo Master? Asked Thea. It would be even better if you didn't call me Geronimo Meister, I squeaked. It was getting colder. Was the weather going to change? I lifted my snout to look at the clouds, but just then the boat tipped and the boom hit me on the back. Before you could say, grilled cheese, on rye, hold the tomato, I was knocked overboard. I didn't even have a chance to squeak. The boat sailed away from me as I floundered in the waves. Fortunately, Thea had seen me go overboard. Mouse overboard, she shrieked immediately. All the lights came on and the lucky lady turned around toward me. Trap switched on a searchlight. Help, over here, I cried, waving my paws. The waves were throwing me up and down like a ratty and doll in clothes dryer. Cold water seeped into my fur. My teeth began ch 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 chattering so hard I thought they were going to bounce right out of my mouth. There he is, I heard someone shout. Suddenly, I was flooded with light. They spotted me. Benjamin, Benjamin threw me a line, but I couldn't catch it. Then I felt a strong paw grab me by the ears. It was Trap. Come on, cousin, grab a hold of my tail, he screamed. He dragged me back to the lucky lady. Ben and Thea lowered a rope ladder. Splat! I spat out a spray of water and opened my eyes. Trap was jumping up and down on my stomach. He's alive! He's alive! cried my cousin. My ears were blue from the cold. Thea was holding my paw. Tears shone in her eyes. Uncle Trap, you really are a hero, Ben explained. Really, Trap, we don't know how to thank you, Thea added gratefully. Trap was blushing. Oh, it's nothing, Ratlins. Just another day for me. Don't mention it, he shrugged. He strode away, whistling the theme song from his favorite TV show, X Mouse. What a character! Trap pretends to be tough, but he really is a total softy. In fact, I'd say he's just as soft as my Aunt Rotilda's homemade cream cheese. Have a good evening.